Hi, this is Jim, the Hippie Redneck Geek, and this is my fifth time trying to create this video. I've had issues with my computer, issues with audio, issues with just various things, just going fritzing on this here. So hopefully I'll get this video out and complete it right this time. So hopefully the audio comes out good and uh, we'll continue on. So this is building uh, a smoker. This is a four foot by three foot by three foot smoker. That's the size of the interior of it. Uh, building it on a four by eight Harbor Freight trailer. Uh, we're building the uh, smoker as part of the trailer. So it actually becomes part of the um, structure of the trailer making it stronger and less likely to have issues at least hopefully anyway that's the idea if when moving it so it's never been pulled very far so we haven't seen any issues with it at this point in time so this is uh the base being put on the base of the smoker here we've got uh it uh lifted up here on two by two uh still columns to, uh, to start the frame and uh, we're going to go through here. Uh, so this is insulated with rock wool. Uh, we're using C-channel to, uh, one inch C-channel to frame out for the uh, location where the rock wool is going to go. Uh, so this is the, the base here. We've got uh, uh, one inch of rock wool insulation in it. And then we're putting on 10 gauge. Now the exterior skin of this is 14 gauge still inside of the smoker uh, portion is all 10 gauge still and the firebox is quarter inch still uh, that's what i had available to to build this with and uh that's what we're building it with or i should say i have built it with and uh there are places where i wish i had went to a heavier gauge still on the exterior because it did have some warpage and some issues so but I think that could have take, been solved in a different way as well. But I do like the results of the smoker um, with some caveats there. And maybe I'll retry this at some point in the future. But this is the base. And uh, we're going to go through this here. Um, I didn't get any pictures of, the, of, of building the back and putting it in a place. But this is it in place here the back of it it's built the same way as the base was 14 gauge exterior uh one inch c channel with rock wool insulation inside of it and 10 gauge for the interior skin and this is building uh the left end or the front end of the um, smoker box uh putting in the c channel that will hold the insulation and it's doing grinding on some welds on this and there's the insulation added to the end piece and putting that end piece up into place and this is building the in place for the smoker that connects to the firebox you can see under his arm there the opening where the firebox is and under his elbow is where the uh, the uh, chimney will go to this is a reverse flow smoker so uh, it comes in from the firebox goes down to one end under a, a plate and then comes back out and back out this through the uh, through this, the stack on the side uh, same side as the firebox this is the end piece up in place with uh, getting all the parts welded into it that it needs to be where it needs to be in place and this is putting on the quarter inch steel uh, for the back of the firebox and welding it around uh, in place where it needs to go uh, the bottom of the firebox here tacked into place getting ready to be welded into place and now here's the sides of the firebox that looks a little bit fuzzy. I not uh, didn't camera did not get very uh, 
did not focus very well, it looks like. Uh, and there is the firebox completely uh, encased. It is just tacked into place, uh, ready to be welded up fully. Uh, if you, you see the back of the trailer here, this bar goes across here, the back across the back of the firebox. Don't worry about that. That will get moved up later on. We're just using it to keep the frame and everything of the trailer supported and suspended uh, and level. Uh, at this point in time, eventually it's going to get cut and uh, welded into the, uh, into the firebox to be part of the frame, part of the structure. And here is the smoker box here where we've put the framing part of this for the, ex, uh, for the front here uh, to put in the lower portion and to put on the uh, top portion of the smoker box and the here we have the top in place with the rock wall insulation in place here uh, getting ready to weld everything up on it um, here we are welding up all the insides of it before it gets uh, where we can't well do any welding insides you're doing all the internal welding that can be done right, right now and this is putting the external skin on the top of it. And this is two pictures of the front of the smoker box there, the inside of it with, uh, on the left side is with the insulation and the right side is it with the, um, um, the, uh, uh, my brain does not work here sometimes. The, ins uh, the inside with the um, steel uh, put on it for the inside of the smoker. This is the f firebox now insulated. This is one inch rock wool insulation. Now this will still get hot on the outside, but it is not as hot as it would be <laughs> if there wasn't. And part of the re reason for the insulation here is to, uh, there's two, two reasons for it. One is to keep it so it's not quite as, hot one touching it uh, if you accidentally do touch it and the other part is that uh, if it's insulated it uses less fuel while cooking so uh, there's a lot less heat lost uh, while cooking uh, I've had to I've tried cooking in the rain uh, smoking in the rain and it is so hard to keep a temperature up with a, uh, with a smoker that does not have insulation on it um, so the idea here was to be it insulated so that uh, the temperature you don't have a loss of temperature you can uh, cook in the colder we uh, colder weather and in the rain uh, so the insulation is uh, to help there and here is putting on the external skin around the firebox uh, this is the door that goes to the smoker box here. We've got a uh, opening here for the um, for the thermometer to go into. Uh, this is the uh, this is where I talked about earlier about the back of the frame, where we've actually now moved it into place, welded in place here, and, and welded in to become part of the structure here now instead of it being across behind uh, the uh, the firebox and here we are putting the um, front the cover the lid uh, the door whatever you want to call this thing the door of the uh, smoker onto the uh, smoker box and this is now we have the handle put on this here. We've got the chimney put on it. And uh, this is not yet complete here at this point in time, but uh, good enough here that we wanted to do the first smoke test on it. And there we go. We did our first test on it. And this is a uh, first burn. Um, we got it up to 300 degrees in here with just a small fire in here uh, and got it up there pretty quickly and it held that 300 degrees for a while after the fire was out 
uh, we just have to, uh, just got to uh, just make sure that it was drawing air through there fine. Uh, it still does not have the smoke adjustment cap, does not have the air intake adjustment, uh, so it does not have the gaskets needed that are supposed to go around the fire, uh, the firebox door or around the smoker door. So those that still don't exist. So it's leaking uh, around there. But uh, this was the beginning of, uh, well, this is the near the end of getting everything for the final finishing touches of the smoker. It's the last I have of it. Don't have any pictures of any of the rest of it uh, being completed. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please hit subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, there'll be more videos of things in the future. In fact, there will be a video of us building another smoker very similar to this one uh, because this one here, we had an incident. Uh, my nephew hit it with a tractor. No, not my nephew. Uh, my ex-son-in-law hit it with my tractor and just didn't totally destroy it, but messed it up pretty bad. Uh, a couple years later so i will be building another one of these here um in the future so you'll get a chance to see us build this in the future so hope you enjoyed please hit sub click subscribe and uh hit the uh notification bell for the next video thank you